There is no vacation. There is nowhere you can go that's going to be safe. I mean, maybe your backyard. My business is built on the shoulders of other businesses. The local people are hurting, and so it's not easy for me to ask for advertising. And more, more often, I'm starting to see people say no on things that they have said yes on for 30, 40, 50 years. I have three big months when it comes to sales. Christmas, um, Border Town Days, our local festival, and graduation. Graduation's been canceled. So when you're talking about one of the three tent poles that have, have held this business up, it's going to make things very, very difficult for us. And so it's going to be unique to see where the next couple months bring it. If our business could not run, these cattle would starve. If we did not bring feed to these cattle, they would starve and they would die. And there wouldn't be no more beef, there would be no more milk, there would be no more cheese. All those feed ingredients would cease if I did not uh, haul feed ingredients to the dairies and the feed yards every day. My business is Scott Johnson Farm Service here in Farwell, Texas, and I have a trucking company that hauls feed ingredients to the dairy and the feed yard industry right here in the Texas and New Mexico panhandle. My employees are essential workers, and we live right here on the Texas-New Mexico state line. And Governor of New Mexico has been quicker to act uh, if, uh, with the COVID-19 virus to close schools and uh, close non-essential businesses. 70% of our employees live in New Mexico. And so I have a form that they have to keep on their person that says they are an essential worker. And it uh, talks about the COVID-19 virus that says these people need to be able to come across the New Mexico state line into Texas because they work for an essential business. My name's Jill Campbell and I am a wedding and portrait photographer. I specialize in couples and weddings. The pandemic has affected my business tremendously because I can't hire or shoot people anymore. I'm having to refund like sessions and weddings and things like that. It's affected my portfolio. So when I shoot uh, weddings and couples and things I build on my portfolio and so basically when you build your portfolio people uh, look at that and they say oh she's got like all this amazing work so it's kind of hindered my pro portfolio in a sense because I don't have any new uh, content. It's really affected me personally. Um, it really makes me sad thinking that I might have to go apply for a job when I've worked for myself for five years. Take this seriously. Understand that it's going to be long term. Most likely we aren't going to see vaccines until the end of the year at the earliest. And then it's going to take some time to filter out for people like me, for people like my family, for people in small towns in the middle of nowhere. It's going to be a while before they get those vaccines. If Americans can act like the Americans acted in World War II, in World War I, in times of crisis, this is going to be a flash in the pan and it's going to go away. But I'm afraid so many people today, so many Americans today, don't understand what that means to not be selfish.